What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Charting Crypto. Today, we're going over Phantom FTM up 5.9% at 27 cents, 3.1 billion max supply with 2.5 billion coins in circulation, and a 697 million market cap. The all time high in this coin was $3.46, top of the last bull run. We're currently down 92.1% from that all time high. All time low was almost three years ago at 001. At the current price of 27 cents, if you would have bought this three years ago at 001, you'd be up 14,255% on your investment in a bear market at the bear market price right now. So FTM is currently available on the following exchanges down here. And according to this, crypto.com exchange is the most active exchange for this coin right now. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on FTM. So here we are in FTM. This is a very, very healthy looking chart right here. It looks like we consolidated for a long period of time until we had this breakout and we almost, almost fell and uh, broke this uptrend we were on. And just to show you guys how close we were, actually we did briefly dip below it. If we go like this, you can see we touched one, two, three. We briefly wicked below this, but if you look at the hard candles, we did not hard candle below this uptrend, which is fantastic. So this uptrend is still intact right now and the indicators are still ripping bullish. So we're currently having some difficulty getting over this zero or over this um, 146 Satoshis. And what I'm kind of thinking is gonna happen is we're gonna be seeing a decent sized move to the upside. For you who don't know Satoshis, we'll actually switch this over to US dollars real quick so we can get a little bit more information on that so you guys don't have to do the conversion by yourself. So if we redo this uptrend right here, on the dollar chart, we did not have that capitulation. So this is why it's always nice to compare different pairs of coins to Bitcoin, USDT, and use that to your advantage. So here we uptrend still intact. We actually start, got a nice little push up to around 27 cents right now. Uh, volume area, the volume gaps all the way down here at 23, which I don't think we're going to hit. If we look at the indicators, the indicators are almost in the overbought territory. MACD starting to bowl down. We haven't entered the overbought territory in the RSI, but we're at 76 and you're technically overbought when you're at 70, but this one, but I have mine set at 82. WTX, last time we printed a sell signal was up here. Uh, so we the WTX hasn't printed a sell signal yet and it doesn't look to be too accurate on the one hour chart. So I wouldn't be too worried about the WTX. What we're gonna be going off of here is FIB channels. So let's just assess these FIB channels right now and see what the possibility is for FTM. So FTM's having a really nice growth right now. We actually started getting a second phase on this uptrend. There's normally three phases in an uptrend. You have the consolidation phase, the secondary phase, and then the really steep up phase. And we're currently in that second or that third phase right now. So what I'm kind of looking here is, is this coin to be putting in higher highs and higher lows? And what it looks like it's doing right now is we did put in um, a low right here. We put in a high here, a higher low, a higher high. And what I'm thinking is gonna happen since the indicators, you can kind of see how they're replicating the last time we had the higher high. We're pretty much in the same area. I think we're gonna be coming back down to around this 0.5 area to around 25 cents, 25, 25, three. And then that's where we're going to be seeing that push up to the negative three, two, three, six at around 29, 30 cents. And that's going to be, um, you know, low, high, lower, low, or higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. So this is kind of what I'm seeing for FTM right now, a slight pullback down to around 25 cents. And then another large push run up to around the negative two, three, six at around 30. Could we go straight to 30 from here? Absolutely. I'm just going by the charts and the recent pattern that it's produced on the screen right here. So I, but I strongly believe we're gonna be pulling back either to the 382 at around 26, but I'd be banking on 25 cents and then working our way up to the 236. That would allow the indicators to play out and cool down. MACD would have its bear scenario and then we would have enough juice to run up to the negative 236 at around 30 cents. So I'd be keeping an eye on approximately a 8% retracement on FTM. And then once we get down to the 618 area at 25, I'd expect a 15% pump from that point on. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can join my Discord channel or my Twitter. The links are below in the description.